you have interview in cochin shipyard right yes sir and today you want to take snap on rcc yes okay so let me know what is meaning of this load bearing structure uh load bearing structure is actually a structure which will uh, bear the load uh, it will be dead load live load bin load activate load any uh, structure that is withstanding this kind of load is a load bearing structure. Okay, that is fine. Then what about the frame structure? That is also bearing the load. Yeah, frame structure. Uh, will there will be columns and beams. So through columns and beams only we will transfer the load. Okay. Fine. Can you tell me? We have simply supported slab. Okay. So practically, can you see? You have simply supported slab. Let me know first. Ah uh, yes sir. Where? Ah uh, in a uh, single uh, room building and all. Good. So, वहाँ पे जो slab है वो किसके ऊपर rest कर रहा है directly? Sorry sir. Slab rest on what? Beam or just resting on the walls directly? Uh, what kind of slab sir? RC slab यार. Yeah. RC slab yeah. Uh, uh, it is probably resting on the beam only. Beam. Ah uh, yes. If it's a flat slab, then it will be directly uh, resting on the column. Okay. Can you define what is slab? Uh, slab actually uh, there are two types of slab. Uh, one is uh, one way slab and another one is two way slab. Uh, it is based on the uh, length to uh, 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 longer span to shorter span ratio. Uh, so this uh, if this ratio is uh, less than Uh, two, it is uh, uh, two-way slab, and if it is greater than two, it is one-way slab. So, what about if ratio is equal to two? It's also a two-way slab. Okay, that is about the type of slab. How will you define the slab? Uh, slab is uh, actually a, a load a load bearing structure, uh, which will transfer the uh, it will transfer the load from and uh, its top to the uh, beam. Okay, fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sajin. And uh, uh, it uh, the slabs uh, for uh, single story building the slab uh, can be the roof, and uh, for two story building the uh, for the first story uh, the uh, slab will be the uh, floor. So it is acting uh, uh, two uh, two functions. Then uh, it can. Uh, Okay, fine. Can you tell me what is this helically reinforced column? Sorry, sir. Helically. Helically reinforced column or spirally reinforced column? Yeah, actually, when we are comparing with the uh, helically reinforced column with the uh, normal column, uh, its uh, strength will be five uh, percent higher than five percent higher, and uh, uh, in a helical uh, reinforced column, uh, we will be uh, defining pitch instead of the. Uh, uh, Spacing between the uh, lateral ties in, in the case of a normal column. Then uh, the uh, in a helical uh, column, uh, the uh, lateral ties is actually uh, uh, we will be constructing it as a uh, helical structure. Well, can you tell me what is the maximum spacing of the ties in column? Uh, maximum spacing is three uh, hundred mm or. Uh, 16 times of the length of uh, 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 diameter of the main reinforcement. Why this maximum spacing is limited in IS code? Yeah, uh, if the uh, spacing is higher, means there is a chance of lateral buckling. Okay, fine. Can you tell me the code for the RCC work? Sorry, sir. Code. That we are uh, following for the RCC work construction. IS four five six. IS four five six. This code is for RCC or PCC. RCC. What about PCC? I think the same code. Are you sure same? I'm not sure, sir. Okay, you must heard about IS one zero two six two. नाम सुने हो? Yes, yes. 
वो किसके लिए कोड है Okay, if we have to do underwater construction, then what is the minimum grade of RCC for construction? I think it's M30. M30, and we have to do the PCC work underwater construction. Then what? PCC underwater. Okay, design mix. You must heard about design mix. Yes, sir. So, can you tell me the the grade of concrete that is starting for the design mix criteria? M30, M35, M40, like that one. M20. M20. 20. Are you sure M20? Yes, sir. RCC is starting from M M20. That is fine. RCC starting minimum grade is M20. But I am asking about the mixed design. If we have to do mixed design, then uh, there is a grade of concrete specified minimum. That grade should be there for the. Deciding what should be the cement, sand, coarse aggregate, water, and admixture if required in weight ratio. That is in weight batches. So that grade basically I am looking. I don't know. Okay. Can you tell me what is this uh, footing and foundation? That is the difference between both footing and foundation. Uh, foundation can be. Uh... Uh, there are two types of uh, foundation. One is uh, shallow foundation and one is deep foundation. So in uh, deep foundation, uh, we will be transferring the load uh, to uh, deeper strata, probably uh, the better of control. And for uh, shallow foundation, and uh, the difference between uh, shallow foundation with uh, deep foundation is that uh, the shallow foundation blood to uh, uh, depth ratio will be uh, less than two. then uh footing uh, coming into footing uh, there are uh, different types of footing uh, for example uh, there is a, a stepped footing uh, uh, there is a strip footing okay can you tell me what is isolated footing uh, then uh, isolated footing so uh, for each column there will be one footing okay fine and you must heard about uh, raft foundation yes sir so when we are going with the raft foundation any idea actually if the, uh, the area of the foundation is greater than 50 percentage then we choose uh, for uh, raft foundation okay fine uh pre stress concrete uh, aap prepare kiyo rcc ke andar Uh, not specifically prepared. Pre-stress concrete, or you just go with the RCC part. Let me know. Yes, sir. RCC part. Only RCC. Yes. Sir. Okay, fine. Can you tell me what is the minimum uh, percentage of steel required for column? Minimum percentage point point eight percent. Point eight percent of what? Point eight percent of gross area. Okay, why this minimum reinforcement is specified in column? As column is a compression member, and we know very well concrete is very good in taking compression. Then why we are providing the minimum steel? Actually, to take care of the lateral buckling. Okay, lateral buckling. Okay, there is a one criteria just like eccentricity. So, what is the minimum eccentricity for column? Whatever type of column we have, short, long, minimum eccentricity that we have to always consider in design. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, uh, the columns are uh, divided based on the slenderness slender ratio, and uh, if the slenderness ratio is uh, less than three, it is a pedestal, 
and uh, if it is less than or equal to 12 it is a short column if it is a greater than 12 it is a uh, long column then for the minimum eccentricity uh, there are two conditions uh, one the one is uh, a, one is actually a formula it is a uh, unsupported length divided by 500 plus and uh, nothing is given to us nothing is given to us unsupported length is uh, still unknown to us then what okay, should be the answer 20 mm sorry 20 mm 20 mm yes fine okay so you said if slenderness ratio is less than 3 then it is pedestal then what about if lambda is equal to 3 slenderness ratio is 3 then what do you think it is will be a short column or pedestal it is pedestal okay how will you define slenderness ratio uh the ratio is the uh, uh, ratio of uh, lateral dimension by uh, sorry uh, effective length by la least lateral dimension okay and what is effective length uh effective length is the uh, uh, distance between the zero moments in a column and distance between zero moments in a column okay what do you think kya aap column ko dekh ke bata sakte ho ek practical aapke paas column hai तो देख के बता सकते हो कि कहां पे बैंडिंग मोमेंट जीरो होगा इफ इट इज अ फिक्स्ड कॉलम देन द बैंडिंग मोमेंट विल बी जीरो देन बैंडिंग मोमेंट विल बी जीरो वेयर एट द फिक्स्ड एंड हाउ कैन यू से एट फिक्स एंड बैंडिंग मोमेंट इज जीरो देयर इज अ नेगेटिव बैंडिंग मोमेंट ना सॉरी सॉरी इफ इट इज अ हिंजर देन वी कैन से इट इज जीरो व्हाट डू यू थिंक right now i we are just talking about rcc point of view i am not going in the c structure right now so from rcc point of view we have a column both end of column below we have bottom slab above we have top slab okay. right the room right now in which you are sitting suppose there is a column ek top wala slab ek bottom wala slab hai so of course uske dono end fix hoge fine okay okay so can you tell me then how can you say this is the point of zero bending moment in column on the basis of that you are just saying that this will be the effective length okay i am okay with your definition that you told to me i don't know sir in the code actually it says there are some theoretical values and recommended values mm. uh, so there is the also we are using this effective length based on that effective length only Okay, fine. What is the maximum slenderness ratio for column? It is sixty. Sixty. Yes. Okay, fine. Okay, Arjun, fine. So I am giving you feedback. Okay. So first thing, always keep in your brain whatever organization you have interview. So don't give answer in a long way. उसको ज़्यादा मत पुल करो. Just okay. say an example. If I ask what is slab, so you said two type of slab is there. Even I didn't ask about type of slab. I was just want to know that slab क्या होता है. What is meaning of the slab? I I I just want to know that thing. And you said two type of slab. Even you yourself introduce next question to you. Okay. 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 The things which is asked to you, just go with that one. Be specific with the answer. In okay. a simple. Fine. And okay. uh putting uh, that i ask isolated i am okay with your answer isolated raft so m20 m30 basically grade of concrete so m20 is your nominal mix m30 fall under design mix that i want to know basically okay so you have to read the brain of interviewer what he and she want to know from you okay. believe me if you are able to do that things nobody can compete you okay okay next okay code that you have in your brain i is 4 5 6 is there but uh, something uh, you have to force okay i is 4 5 6 for rcc then what should be the pcc now think what will be the impression on the interviewer this is a basic thing okay i is 4 5 6 is for both it's for rcc and pcc work general work okay and, and you are under some this right ah that's why this is nothing but lack of uh, preparation nothing else even you have idea what is the is 456 what is basically saying fine okay and lambda that's uh, lambda you said less than 3 pedestal then i 
again go with the if lambda is equal to 3 then what do you think it will be short column or pedestal then you said pedestal that is okay i'm okay with your answer so just what you have to be specific okay. lambda less than equal to 3 pedestal okay one word okay are you getting my point uh, yeah yes sir okay so rest of things are uh, okay no issue with that one anything else you want to ask arjun uh sir actually uh, what are the important portions i should uh, cover in rpt uh, important topics or uh, what you are asking basically topics yes, yes sir important topics in rpt uh, first of all go with the basic things basic okay. things in the rcc that is material one you have concrete second you have steel tisra koi material nahi hai concrete ke andar rcc mein concrete and steel are two so concrete ki properties properties of concrete property of steel that you have in your brain that is it should be on tips okay m20 what it mean m25 m25 is the grade from where we are starting doing design mix okay below m25 it is your nominal mixes m25 and above m25 we have the design mixes right now we are doing m100 also okay m100 also there okay grade of concrete and okay. beam what is the design criteria for beam slab column foundation design criteria just steps what we have to keep in brain suppose if you have to do the design kya kya cheeze dimag mein rakhni being a designer and minimum steel kitna hum dalenge minimum percentage of steel requirement maximum percentage of steel requirement cover requirement on what basis we are deciding the cover that things okay 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 and what about the principles pre-stress concrete dekho that's why i ask you uh, because pre-stress right now uh, this pre-stress is uh, very popular okay. extremely popular pre-stressing work so if you are going with the pre-stressing so just first of all again go with the basic of the what is the meaning of the pre-stressing as compared to the normal rc section what is the post tension work what is the pre tension work where we are using basically post and pre members so what are the methods for doing the tension in the strand or high tension wire cable whatever you want to say and what type of method in india that we are generally following okay okay so okay. these things you have to be uh, look in rcc so arjun if i rate you out of 5 so i will just state you close to 3 and half okay sir okay the reason is that because you are pulling the things okay. nothing else you have knowledge in your brain but right now from my uh, point of view you are just lacking to express your knowledge okay that, that you have to that you have to work okay, yeah, okay? okay. fine okay. Uh, anything else you want to ask arjun Not, nothing sir okay so all the best arjun and uh, keep preparing